Good morning, HF, and welcome to the Monday edition of the VTV Show. I'm Cora McMillan. And I'm Jalen White. It's May 13th, and we have so many countdowns to talk about. I don't know which one to discuss first. Let's start with the obvious one, because we've been talking about it for a couple weeks already. The end of the year is upon us. That's right. Seniors, we just have nine days left in our high school careers. This week, and then four days next week, and we're out of here. And that leads us to our second countdown. Just five days left until one of our favorite nights of the year, Prom 2019. I don't know which one is more exciting. I'm really looking forward to both. I agree. I think most people have their prom nights planned by now. You know where you're going before and after, you know the colors you're wearing and who's driving, yada, yada, yada. It's going to be a special night, that's for sure. We'll talk more about it as we get closer to the end of the week, as well as we'll talk about the candidates who will compete for the title of King and Queen of the Prom. Today we have a really short show. Not many announcements have come in this week, and not many sports scores were reported to us, but we'll give you what we have in this shortened version of the Manic Monday show. Student government's final meeting of the year will be this Wednesday at 3.15 p.m. in 101 North. All are welcome. If you would like to be involved in student government next school year and are interested in planning next year's activities, please come to our meeting. There's a unified meeting for anyone interested in being a part of a program that promotes acceptance and respect through sport. It's on Wednesday in room 230 North. The meeting is also for anyone interested in joining the Just Like You Club. Open Mat for Wrestling has just a few reminding dates. There are, they are on May 17th and May 24th. Any girl interested in playing volleyball next year, there's an important preseason meeting on Wednesday the 15th in the pool classroom. You will receive important summer schedules and information regarding workouts and tryouts. Again, a girls volleyball meeting is Wednesday the 15th in the pool classroom after school. Attention boy and girl athletes interested in joining cross country next year. There will be an informational meeting in B1 at 310 this Thursday. We will discuss summer camp and training. The varsity boys tennis team finished third in the SWSC Blue Conference Tournament on Saturday. The team was led by senior Perry Hogue at first singles and senior Brian Henry at second singles. Both were conference champions and named to the all-conference team. The team competes today at SAG for their final regular season meet. That's all the announcements and scores for today. Thanks for sending those in. As busy as this next couple of weeks is, some students have even more to deal with AP testing. If you still have got some tests you need to take, no worries. We found some test takers who were willing to share some advice about taking these crucial tests. Devin Gorton has more on the story. AP testing is in full swing. For our students who happen to be taking their first AP test, don't worry if you're nervous, we have you covered. We asked some of HF's brightest students for their tips on how to crush the AP test. I would definitely suggest asking your teacher for any tips or, and or websites for books that you can be given because they definitely know what will most likely be on the test, therefore you can study and be ready to pass. Uh, don't stress out and study as much as you can and just take your time on a test. Uh, if you're taking an AP test, I recommend doing a lot of prep beforehand, not just cramming it all in one night. And uh, doing a little bit of studying each day, it really adds up. My tips for the AP test are just pace yourself during the test, make sure you know how much time you have left. Uh, so basically what you want to do is you want to make sure you're preparing for the test like for at least a month or so before and reviewing, asking your teacher if you need help with anything. And you want to look up videos online to see if uh, people have pointers for you. For the AP exam, make sure you get enough rest from the night before and also make sure you have a number two pencil and calculator. Good luck to everyone who will be taking their tests this week. For VTV, I'm Devin Gorton. Good luck to everyone who is taking tests this week. And good luck to the senior class as well. They get started this week in the Senior versus Faculty Decathlon. We had one this morning, the eating contest, and three more will happen later on today. The baseball accuracy throw, the free throw competition, and family feud competitions are today. So four events will be decided, and by the end of the week, we'll know who will hold the title. And you'll get to see all of the contests next week right here on VTV. We're not going to give away who won this morning, but we'll say the eaters had to eat an entire dozen of donuts by themselves. I think I would be sick after that. No doubt. Anything for the win. And hopefully the senior won in this event. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching and enjoy your last Monday at HF Seniors. For everyone here at VTV, I'm Jalen White. And I'm Cora McMillan. Have a great day, HF.